for some unavoidable reasons i have to stop that video lecture in that time now so i have to divide this this two video into different parts although my plan was to record only one lecture video regarding the total hiv virus so anyway so that the total video lecture will be divided into two parts okay so in our previous one i have discussed about uh, the structural genes right and we have also discussed that structural gene first translated into polyprotein and this polyprotein by cleaving with by protease will gives you multiple fragments or proteins right polyproteins are usually inactive or non functional but when they are cut or cleaved by protease they become functional <coughs> now the question was that except the structural gene with the help of this genetic material they also produce another six regulatory genes okay so how this possible i would recommend you to pause the video and let's think about it if you cannot get any answer then again start or if you get then also again start and match the real answer with your thought so first of all let's start i think you know about what is reading frame i think uh, yes so what is reading frame so reading frame is nothing but suppose this is a dna molecule okay so in dna molecule this is a gene 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 okay so this is suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 <coughs> okay so reading pattern can be of different types right so how what kind of reading pattern suppose uh, yes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 this color is difficult to understood let me take another color okay i think this will work yes so suppose it this is a dna molecule here number 1 gene is present 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and also 9 okay so now the polymeres will read suppose first three first and generates its mrna again then 4 5 6 7 generates its mrna 7 8 9 generates its mrna this is the reading frame that means the frame that polymeres read and generates the mrna right so here a phenomenon that is in case of host or humans mainly is abnormal but in case of virus it is normal is they undergo i have incorporated here shifting on reading frame okay this white mark portion i have incorporated marking this with a white color that hiv virus are capable of undergo shifting of reading frame so what is the utility of shifting shifting the reading frame the utility is along with the three structural gene by just shifting reading frame they will also leads to the formation of six extra regulatory genes so how this shifting going on i am going to discuss so again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and subsequently 9 right so instead of reading three it it can read 1 2 then it can read 2 3 it can read 3 4 it can read 4 5 it can read 5 6 it can read then 6 7 and generates their mrna subsequently right and another combinations can also be possible by doing performing such kind of combinations they can generate six extra mrna 
that will produce protein which will act as a regulatory protein okay so i hope the concept is now clear to you so let's focus on those six genes okay i think uh, now it is visible to you so the first gene that we are going to discuss about is tat okay tat gene encodes tat protein as normal and this tat protein will act as a transcriptional factors okay we have discussed about that we need transcriptional factors to activate the promoter present in ltr right and we have discussed about nuclear factor kappa b that is the uh, host transcriptional factor that have the ability to on ltr right a promoter present in ltr and that is the viral transcriptional factor that can activate ltr so what should i say it will enhance or amplify the transcription right so the tat function is a trans activator protein you can write tat is a trans activator protein encoded by tat gene and it will bind with promoter present in ltr and activate the promoter and as a result the transcription become amplified okay now let's move to the next gene that is ref gene okay so ref gene will produce ref protein this ref protein will carry mrna from the nucleus to the cytoplasm to enhance translation okay so tap increases transcription and ref increases translation that is the simple concept now let's come here vif so vif will encode and produce vif protein now this vif function is quite different instead of helping in transcription translation or replication this vif decides that i will protect my virus right so how you, it will protect remember one thing that whenever a virus is entered in our cell a protein called a p o b e c t g this is a protein a p o b e c t g is activated okay and that have the capability to destroy viral dna so vif is the gene developed by the virus that will produce via protein this via protein in turn have the ability to destroy a p o b e c t g okay that means it protect the viral dna right now let's move to vpr vpr is simply involved in increasing the replication okay now let's come to here vpu remember another thing whenever sorry this is a problem so okay now whenever remember that vpu uh, the virus undergoes replication inside the host cell and the virus enters inside the host cell more specifically there is a protein hmm. gamma there is a protein called x one second ha huh. inter okay interferon okay i think we all know the what is interferon is is plays an important role in immunology right so among the interferon example is gamma interferon okay so let me write gamma interferon and this gamma interferon have the ability to produce tetrin tetrin i have also already mentioned the spelling here i am going to discuss the let me mark it this is this one tetrin okay this tetrin synthesized by gamma interferon will <coughs> decrease the viral release okay so vpu what vpu does yes absolutely you have guessed correctly that vpu and produce vpu protein this vpu protein will destroy the tetrin protein synthesized by gamma interferon right so that in protein is distributed by vpu so that virus can release 
now the last one is nif remember one thing before going to discuss about the function of nif i want to clear you another concept that is whenever virus is entered inside the macrophage or stuff the macrophage or other antigen presenting cells try to present a part of the virus a small peptide molecule which is antigenic to present for another important immunological cells to active right that means what let me discuss in simpler words suppose uh, this that particular cell is infected with a virus okay so whenever virus has entered inside the cell the anti the cell try to present that a part of the virus that is can be a peptide small peptide position via class 1 mhc molecule okay to present them and activate other immunological cell present okay it's something like suppose a rubber has entered inside the inside your house and now you have to snatch uh, either a part of his cloth or a, suppose it's his cap and now you are presenting this cap outside so that police who is, who are also in search of that rubber can get the signal and come here and destroy them right or destroy the rubber or simply arrest the rubber in that that case right so that is the simple as simple in case of this time right so macrophage try to express the portion of the virus via mhc class 1 molecule okay so that tc who is the main police in case of virus or cancerous cell become inf- uh, become activated and release granzyme perforin we have discussed in our very first videos that how tc works granzyme perforin to destroy that particular macrophage because if macrophage is destroyed then in turn the virus inside the macrophage is also destroyed right so that is the idea so virus also have to prevent this right and that is the reason why it have develop it has developed the nef it is another regulatory gene that will produce nef protein so what is the function of nef protein nef protein function as i have mentioned simply down regulating the msc class 1 molecule okay so that tc cells cannot get appropriate signal to come here and protect the protect our whole body i should say right so that is the six important regulatory gene let me let revise with me that tat will activate the transcription act as a trans activator protein ref here what ref will do ref will transport the mrna from nucleus inside the cytoplasm so that it can translate into protein vif vif what vif will do vif will simply destroy apo b e c 3 g this apo b e c 3 g have the ability to destroy viral dna so virus in turn have developed vif so that it can destroy the apo b e c 3 g okay now vpr vpr will increase the replication vpu vpu will allow viral release okay by simply destroying tetrin a protein secreted by gamma interferon okay now the last one is nef what is the function of this nef nef will down regulate msc class 1 molecule so that are the six important regulatory gene that you need to know okay so we have discussed about structural gene we have also discussed about regulatory gene and we have also discussed about how regulatory gene is produced by reading frame shifting right so now after the production of all the protein via the structural gene okay so they will convert the formation of capsid containing virus molecule okay and this virus will interact with the gp41 present on the surface of the membrane that is our host cell membrane okay and in eventually 
with the help of budding procedure it will release from the infected cell okay and as during the budding they snatch a part of the cell membrane so as a result the cell also eventually lies that is the entire viral cycle or virus replication cycle that you need to know so let me complete a quick revise so first will be the primary attachment via that is the attachment between gp120 and cd4 secondary attachment that is the attachment the, between the active site that is exposed by gp120 after completion of the primary attachment and it will interact with ccr5 and cxcr4 chemokine co-receptor although the ccr5 is the primary choice whenever virus first infect the cell okay this is the secondary attachment and we have inhibitor to block the secondary attachment that is maraviroc then fusion will going on that is the interaction of gp41 and it can be blocked by enfubitide once virus entered inside the cell the capsid protein will be destroyed by host cell proteases and now the two positive cell single stranded rna virus now remember one thing the reverse transcriptase that virus poses have two activity one is polymerization activity another one is rna's age activity now this polymerization uh, activity can be blocked in two ways one is nucleoside nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor and non nucleoside nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor in nucleoside nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor we are just taking the help of pseudo nucleotide right so example of that drug is lamivudine didanosine and gidobodine but it is it has some side effects because the new uh, pseudo nucleotide can also be used by our cells and that can lead to bone marrow failure so we will usually not referring nucleoside nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor but if non nucleoside nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor as a result we have developed one example is nivirapine you have to remember okay nivirapine now after completion of the polymerization now most importantly nivirapine will inactivate or inhibit polymerization okay now after polymerization rna's activity of the reverse transcriptase will activate okay so after rna's age activity the RNA part of the RNA DNA hybrid will be degraded and it will result in the single stranded DNA molecule with the help of a enzyme it will convert into double stranded DNA molecule and integrated inside the nucleus with the host chromosome this white marked portion are host chromosome via integrase so we have to we can inhibit the integrase also so one example is raltegravir okay so very good now if we focus on our gene so there is a ltrd gene present this is sticky and cohesive in that it simply joins the viral dna with the host chromosome so in the ltr we have a promoter okay so whenever the transcriptional factor interact with the promoter the promoter activate and it starts the transcription so here we have three kind of structural genes gag pol and enb gag will give us p24 p17 p7 protein after the cutting of protease okay and paul will give us rip that is reverse transcriptase in, uh, integrase and protease itself and env env will give us gp41 and gp120 here i have discussed one important point that in case of env the protease is host cells and in case of uh, paul and gag the protease is of viral okay now by using a special phenomena that is the reading frame shifting with the help of that same genetical material virus have also developed six regulatory materials so the first one is tat tat act as a trans activator protein trans activator protein what is the idea so what is the idea tat will simply bind with the promoter present in the ltr and starts transcription so it is a trans activator amplifying the transcription right in case of ref what is going on very interesting thing so ref will transport to the mrna inside from the nucleus into cytoplasm where it meet with ribosome and facilitate its translation right 
VIF will destroy APO, B, E, C, C, G, a important protein present. This important protein have the ability to destroy the viral DNA which is not preferable by HIV. As a result, it have developed the VIP protein would have the, which in turn have the ability to destroy APO, B, E, C, C, G. And VPR will increase the replication. VPU, what VPU does? VPU will destroy the tetrin protein secreted by gamma interferon and these interferons have the ability to prevent the release of the virus that is also prevent nullified by vpu gene now nef will down regulate msc class 1 so that tc cell not become informed that virus is present inside the macrophage okay otherwise it will simply destroy the virus right that is how virus evade our host defense mechanism that is also a very important thing question may came how hiv virus evade our immune system so you you have to tell in that time about this three protein that is vif1 apobccg destroyer vpu1 tetrin destroyer secreted by gamma interferon and nef which down regulates the msc class 1 molecule okay so after the uh, production of all kind of structural gene and regulatory gene our virus is ready to live here it interact with the gp41 that is already present inside the cell membrane that is that is why i have told you that gp40 or gp120 incorporating lipid bilayer is nothing but a stolen material from host cell membrane that they stole during their release via budding okay so that is how the entire replication process is going on and i have also discussed about the inhibitors that you can use okay, okay. so the first inhibitor is in the attachment side maraviroc the second inhibitor is in the fusion side enfuvertide third inhibitor is of two types that is polymerization inhibitor it can be inhibited by using nucleoside nucleotide polymerase inhibitor or we can use non nucleoside nucleotide polymerase inhibitor nucleoside nucleotide polymerase inhibitor nivirapine non nucleoside nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor or polymerase inhibitor that will simply inactivate the polymerase is sorry i have made a mistake nucleoside nucleotide reverse transcriptase so inhibitor will be lamivudine, didanosine and gidovudine and non-nucleoside nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor will be our nivirapine. Okay. Now it is okay. Then we have inhibitor for inhibiting the integrase. Integrase involved in integrating the viral DNA with host cell. The, the, the enzyme inhibitor name is raltigravir. And we it can we have also inhibitor for protease because without protease the viral protein remain as polyprotein which is inactive right so we can also develop an inhibitor for protease that is saquinavir i am going to incorporate the spelling of that inhibitors also in the description box i have forgotten somehow to wrote these names i will surely mention it in my description box so saquinavir ritonavir darunavir and indinavir that is the four kind of weeds that we can use to inhibit protease okay so that are the various we have started our video lecture from the very first thing that what are the causative agent right then we have discussed about the symptoms that is opportunistic infection secondary neoplasia some neurological disorder right then we have discussed about the hiv structures and stuffs right then we have discussed about the replications right we have also discussed about the mutation that provide natural immunity against hiv right that is a ccr5 mutation two kind homozygous mutation heterozygous mutation okay and we have also discussed about various drug that we can use as a treatment right now the thing that we have to discuss is how can you diagnose AIDS okay okay it is that we have learned a lot about what is the replication cycle what is the structure of the virus stuff but how can you diagnose whether your patient is infected by AIDS or not so let's discuss it let's try to think what are the possible options okay I hope that you will 
i hope that you can interpret that here we are going to use some immunological techniques right so what are the possible option to develop antibodies against hiv one is GP, to develop a antibody specific for gp120 isn't it but due to the presence of hyper variable region it will rapidly change itself right so we cannot use this one okay so one possibility is nullified p17 is not too much antigenic okay we cannot use this but p24 is antigenic okay and it is it do it also do not possess any kind of antigenic variations too okay so we can use it for detection although we cannot this this type of antibodies that we are going to use for detection by using by producing against them as against p24 they are not they will be not the neutralizing antibody right because the entry inside the cell is facilitated by gp120 so these antibodies do not have the capability to neutralize right so that is the fact so p24 can be used as a serological micromarker to diagnose aids how you will simply take the blood serum of the patient that you are suspecting that infected with aids i am not discussed uh, going to discuss about how right because i hope that you all know how aids is transmitted so okay that is not about discussion so first of all we will take the blood serum okay we will purify not only purify we will simply perform elisa technique so elisa technique how you perform we will take a plastic plate and this plastic plate is blocked with blocking agent okay although we will use blocking agent later first of all let's start from the beginning that this is the plastic plate we will add our serum sample eh, over here okay so all the antigen remember one thing that this plate have the affinity to towards antigens okay so all the antigen present in the serum bind over here okay that can be a possible way but what kind of technique we should prefer to perform such kind of delicate test so we will go for indirect sandwich elisa okay so what kind of indirect sandwich sandwich elisa is so we will take a plate and we will add our antibody containing solution that we have developed specifically against p24 okay so our antibody have been attached with the plate okay then we will add our sample okay so our sample will simply bind over antibody if and antigen specific for that antibody that means p24 present if not then after the washing step it simply washed away and we will not get any result okay so then we will again add another antibody which is specific to p24 via another epitopes okay i hope uh, you know what epitope is right that means in the surface of antigen there are uh, surface of any kind of pathogen there are multiple point present that can recognized by the antigen binding site of antibody right and these multiple site are called epitopes okay and antigen can have multiple epitopes okay so this antibody will recognize a various epitope or a different epitope that recognized by the primary antibody that we have used right although it is not primary antibody instead we will say it is a captured antibody okay because they are capturing antigens now after that we will add polyclonal antibodies that are specific to various epitopes present in the second antibody okay so why we have incorporated polyclonal antibody here so that we will amplify our result because those polyclonal antibodies are tagged with enzyme and upon adding substrate which is colorless we will have colorless colored product okay for example if we are using horse radish peroxidase then if we add the tetramethyl benzidine and h2o2 it will give us color and the intensity of the color can be measured by standard 
measurement and with the help of this measurement we can easily quantify whether our patient is infected with HIV or not and how much amount of antigen is present inside the serum okay that is the entire procedure that we can use to diagnose HIV okay so here the P24 play the role of a marker once ELISA gives us the positive result we will directly go for western blot okay so I hope what you, you know what western blot is we will simply extract our protein samples from the serum okay with this pro pro protein sample will be loaded in various wells present inside the polyacala in the polyacalamide gel and if we switch on them they will separate it on the basis of their molecular weight and now a electrophoretic transfer technique that is present uh, to transfer the fragments from the membrane uh, from the gel to the blot that is here is pvdf membrane polyvinylidin difluoride membrane okay after successful blotting of pvdf by using the antibody that is specific for p24 we can also specifically detect p24 not only the specific detection by using another antibody specific for the viral protein we can also detect what we can also detect another viral protein which another uh, which are which present in inside the hib okay so two blood diagnosis technique one is elisa and once ELISA has been successful, we will go for Western blood for further confirmed information. Okay. So, structure of the virus, how replication cycle is performed, what are the defense mechanism that they have developed. Okay. That is VIF and our NEF along with what? Along with VPU. Okay. So, we have also discussed it. Okay. Now, we have also discussed about what are the diagnosis technique so i think that we have wrapped up our hib video lecture okay so i hope that this video will be helpful to you and please like the video if you find it helpful share with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and don't worry i will add the name of the inhibitor that inhibit the protease in the description box okay so thank you for listening to this class take care